morning everyone welcome back i don't know if i filmed an intro for this video or not i'm literally just sitting here with this coffee can you read this coffee mug hopefully you can't see it hopefully it's like backwards funny coffee mug that amber gave me for valentine's day but it's cute anyway i literally haven't washed my hair and i don't even remember so i don't even want to say <laughs> i literally don't remember so that's why we just threw our hair in a bun today. We're gonna to be going for a good workout. It's January 1st. Um, this is my, I don't know, maybe just my second or third. I think last night was my second night in the new apartment and definitely getting more comfortable. My first night, I was very uncomfortable. I could, I don't know why, I just like could not, I don't know, I just felt like unsafe or something. I don't know. I think it's just like a new environment that I have to get used to. I've learned that I'm very sensitive um, when it comes to change. So I just need a little time to get acclimated. So, but it's been nice and I love every inch of this place. It's so cute and I can't wait to show you guys more, but you're gonna see me moving into the apartment, unpacking, putting the living room together a little bit. That's about it for this intro. Zoe is getting acclimated too. How do you feel? It's been kind of hard for her too because she's been so anxious and she hasn't even eaten in a couple days. Um, and she's following me around everywhere, which she never does. She usually like just chills in the bedroom and sleeps at my old spot. So here she's just following me around literally everywhere, but she's doing okay. We're just getting used to things. So yeah, enjoy the video. I'll go film a grocery haul for you guys. So you'll see that in this video as well. And I will talk to you guys in a little bit. So unfortunately, these are the only clips that I managed to get while I was viewing the apartment. Unfortunately, I don't have like an empty loft tour, but this is the loft. It is so beautiful. It's a corner unit. Also keep in mind that this is right when someone moved out. They hadn't even cleaned it yet. So that's why you see the ladder and stuff, but this is the loft. It's beautiful. It has tons of windows. I think seven windows total. If you can see that broom right there, that's kind of a size reference for how like tall it is. It's just like this big space and I love it. It also has a little walk-in closet over here. Actually, it's kind of a big walk-in closet. And then this bathroom, which if you watch the original apartment tour, you'll know that I didn't love that tile, but um, I have some plans for the bathrooms. There's another half bath in the front, but I have some plans for the bathroom, so you'll have to uh, wait and see what I do with that. But yeah, that is the loft. This is what it looks like. I am gonna show you a little bit more of it in the video today, but this is basically what it looks like while it's empty. It wasn't actually in the original loft apartment hunting video at all, so surprise, it's a completely different one, but I love it, and I hope you guys like it too. Let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> Okay, all moved in. Look at Zoe, she's like having a panic attack because she has no idea where we are. But everything looks beautiful. I wish I would have given you an empty apartment tour, but I didn't get a chance to do that. So now you're just getting like a messy moved in apartment tour. This is how everything is looking. And around this corner, uh, more mess. So yeah, Zoe, are we gonna be okay? You see your new home, you got a lot of space. <laughs> and then there's a closet in this wow, corner. Wow, wow, wow. There's a walk-in closet up here. And a little bathroom. We look crazy. <laughs> we look crazy. We look cute. We look a little crazy because we just... Oh, hell no. <laughs> okay, we just got done moving, so we look a little wild. But we're here to, like... Celebrate. A celebratory... Drink. Drink. What time is it? Eight. Yeah, we just finished. So, we're gonna eat hibachi, and we're gonna pop some champagne, and watch Emily and Paris. I don't think I have a cup cup. That's okay, I'm not sure. Um, look, give me a mug, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. you ready? Should I shake it? Just kidding. Congratulations! <laughs> Woo! New home! <laughs> okay, I wanna catch you. Ready, one, two! Woo! And our coffee mugs. Cheers. Cheers. Hey guys, look at who's here to cheers us. Cheers, Zoe. She like burled her way in too to be like, excuse me. Say cheers. You want a little champagne? No. Cheers, guys. <laughs> we haven't had anything except a rinky dink yeah. oh. <laughs> bagel this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> at Starbucks. So. All the sauce. All and I the saw that. I saw that. I saw you do that. Yeah, it's naughty girl. Sneaky, you sneaky. It all. Yes. If you don't go to Bachi Yaki, you don't know how to live, right? Okay guys, we got a little grocery haul, if anyone cares. January 1st, um, so happy new year, but I am all about eating right, especially at the top of the year. I just wanna start things off right. So I wanted to show you guys what I got. I'm going to be working out a ton and really just kicking it up a notch on the fitness level. So I wanted to show you guys what I bought. Ignore these Reese's Puffs, these are my kryptonite. So this is not a part of my diet um, meal plan <laughs> that I'm completely making up and I'm no like weight loss expert but this is what works for me so I got English muffins and eggs and turkey bacon for the morning I'm actually gonna make a sandwich right now scoot that on over there I got some avocados for my eggs in the morning sometimes I like avocado with it or I'll use it in a um, taco bowl which is what I think I'm gonna make tonight for dinner I find that if I just shop for the week like the next seven days and I eat pretty much the same thing for all seven days maybe I switch up the dinner portion it, it makes it really easy for me to stick to this kind of diet that I'm on I hate calling it a diet I wish there was a better term but just a little bit of restriction anyways so I also got these meatballs are my life they're already cooked I just heat them up or just put them on a skillet for a couple minutes and I eat them with spaghetti uh, when I'm trying to eat healthy I just eat these with marinara sauce and over some broccoli sauce so that's what you see here this is the best marinara sauce brand this is actually vodka sauce because they didn't have the marinara sauce so i'm assuming this is great as well but this is my brand it's a little bit more expensive but it's so good it beats out all the other like canned marinara sauces so this and this with that it's a zero carb meal it's a great lunch it's really filling so that's what i have sometimes i'll heat up some veggies with it, it just depends and then for a snack i got some pretzel bites pretzel bites pretzel crisps love these flat pretzels are so good with hummus oh my gosh i wish i would have got carrots or like some other vegetables cucumbers to go with the hummus i just like wasn't thinking straight but this is what i got as a snack for dessert i got these which i haven't tried yet but i'm a huge fan of halo top haven't tried any of their stuff lately but i saw these real coconut cream fruit pop i love coconut popsicles so hopefully this will be good and that is what i got for dessert another thing i got for dessert was grapes these are my jam i eat them in the morning all the time i love to freeze grapes and put them in the freezer i love to put them in the freezer and have them as like a little popsicle or I don't know, frozen grapes are my jam. They taste so good, especially if the grapes are um, red grapes. Is that what they're called? They're these kind. Oh my God, they're so good when they're frozen. So yeah, that's my grocery haul. I also, now I'm gonna make some breakfast and go to Pilates. So I don't know if you guys remember, but my last place had a fridge that was literally like the quarter of the size of this. So I'm really happy to have a full fridge. So I figured let's just fill it together with the stuff I bought. I have nothing because I just moved in two days ago, so no food yet, but we're going to put that in here. I would love to do some organizing in here, but we're not there yet. We just, you know, one step at a time. Uh, loving this though. This is like my baby. I've used it all day long, so I'm really happy to have this. This should keep me nice and hydrated.
up. Um, I didn't attach the bed to the headboard yet because I'm undecided. If, I'm undecided if I want to keep it or not. What do you guys think? I don't know. Maybe I should just make the bed first and then you can decide. That might help. But I don't know. I just feel like the white with cement looks really cool and picks and stuff. And I'm just not sure if the headboard is matching the vibe anymore. It doesn't look bad, but I'm just not sure. As you can see, the kitchen is behind me and I really want to organize it because I'm going crazy. I've been here for a couple days and I've been saving everything just so I could film it all. Kitchen is a disorganized mess and I just need to unpack things and organize the loft and get it just a little bit more comfortable and easier to move around in. Much all my stuff is in bags and boxes still, so I really just need to like unpack and organize. So that is what today's video is. Can you guys hear all the cars going by? It's really loud in this loft. Um, I spoke to my like manager guy, what are they called, the super, and he said he's gonna bring by some weather strips to like seal the windows a bit better, but yeah, it's very loud. It doesn't bother me for some reason. I guess I'm just used to noise. Pray that they seal the windows up a bit better so I, so I can get rid of some of the noise because it's gonna be harder to film with you know all that noise in the background. Kitchen has boxes everywhere. Oh my gosh, there's just so much junk everywhere. But stick with me, we're gonna organize the loft, so let's go. far as I got with the kitchen um, I still have some pots and pans to put in the drawers but I put the rug down and I put some fresh William Sonoma hand towels out I literally have been saving those for the last year I knew I was moving and I wanted to have fresh hand towels for my apartment so I also organized these which I love having the ingredients out now yay and then my our place pans I was really worried this kitchen was gonna be like too dated looking but it kind of has this cute retro vibe now that I've like organized it and made it look cute um i don't hate it as much so yay hey guys it's the end of the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this as you can see things are coming together so stay tuned gonna have a lot of like home decor and um, organizing vlogs coming up so definitely subscribe if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys next time bye